So the dead, whoever was wrote all them Dead Sea Scrolls, they was going off. That's all I can say. I move. Mean, and see, the thing is, people's problems, before they want to learn this Bible right here, this, this book, they want to go study Enoch or the Dead Sea Scrolls. Scrolls or, they want to get the Gospel of Barnabas or the Gospel of Judas. But they don't even know this. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you have to start with the basics. Right. This is Isaiah 19 and, uh, 19 and 3. And the spirit, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits. Have familiar spirit. You know the spirit of Egypt is on America. You know the America in the Bible is spiritually known as Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah, Babylon. Right. It's take, America takes all, like you said, it assimilates all the different ideologies and philosophies from all these evil, wicked, heathen nations and just puts it all together oh, in one melting pot fun. of diarrhea. It's a reincarnation. Right. Well, it's just same like ancient Rome did the same thing. Every time Rome would go into a different territory and conquer a nation, they would take their gods unto themselves. Like the ancient Romans uh, worship Isis. They worship Mithras. Mithras is a Persian god. So America is Rome in the reincarnation. Okay, yeah, that's why you can see all the Roman symbolism. That's because Rome, even though it did fall in the end, uh, personally I believe every nation falls. And once we've reached a certain peak, it's just a matter of the cycle. Yeah, that's right. true. It is but a cycle. It, they did have a good system. <laughs> they, they a had, good system? <laughs> they, they had, they, I mean, it worked for them. Well, it worked and for what? Conquering other nations and beating the shit out of people? Hell, hell. And if you didn't follow their customs, the slaughtering entertainment oh, was let, me, the let me ask you a question. Not. Did the Roman system work real good when they went to Gaul and France and genocided all the Celts? They, they, they practically, they murdered, we don't know how many millions of people they murdered in France, all the Celts. Slaughtered them. They went over to Britain, slaughtered all the Druids, all the people up there. That's all they did was uh, genocide people, just destroyed. That's why. <laughs> that's why the Bible calls the Roman Empire that great red dragon. But what does a dragon do? A it dragon comes everything. through. It breathes. It's a, comes through breathing fire. It stomps. It kills. It destroys. Okay. Yeah, it's a, 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 a giant beast. Ah, oh, got it. That's right. I always tell people, like uh, a lot of my Catholic friends, they'll worship the white Jesus, and I'm like, no, it's Cesare. It's Cesare Borgia because his father was the Pope. So you know like, some things, right? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I know a lot of the origins of the holidays. Like I, I don't know. I I really got into it. It it's something that I'm interested in because I personally don't have a strict belief system just yet. I have a moral code that I stand by, yeah. but I'm just searching for what. I find. So we got a moral code too. You eat pork? I do. You know the Bible says don't eat pork. Yeah, in Leviticus. Right. That's, that's going to defile your there body. There are a lot of different things that they said in Leviticus though. There's a, lot There's of a whole dietary law. Yeah, it's oh, all yeah. there for your benefit. It's all for your benefit. What happens if you eat? It's a really dirty meat too. We they, eat? they don't sweat. Oh. Don't sweat. Right, you shouldn't eat that. It's nasty. Oh, <laughs> They them, them, the people's spirits didn't want them to go into the swine. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> well, once they did, the swine committed suicide. Yeah. <laughs> What's you looking at? Like? Oh, I'm just getting ready to I'm going to show you how foul they are. Like, the evil spirit didn't well, want them to get into the swine. Uh, well, I got some of you up there. Yeah, the uh, apocrypha got... You've been over it so long, man. kind of rusty. Yeah. Go, uh, give me a, I'm going to show you something. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. Right. Yeah, because we got a moral code. See, the Lord wrote it down in stone. Okay. Well, the Ten Commandments was written by the, the, what the, the finger of the Matthew most high himself. Matthew 5 and 17. What does the Ten Commandments say? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay. That's one of the worst things a person could ever possibly do is commit adultery and lay down with another man's wife. See, in America, adultery is legal. Not only is it legal, it's encouraged. It is. All right. It really is. That's all, Strange. like when you watch all these Hollywood movies, all the Hollywood movies are made by the so-called Jew, the devil himself. It's 
especially those damn Tyler Perry oh. movies. Oh, that's good. Them is all about his old tree. Yeah, and he dressing yeah. up in drag. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. The Bible says you're not a man is not supposed to wear a woman's clothes. You know. Hey, what, but do you, what do you deem a woman's clothes? What dress, wearing lipstick and makeup and shit? <laughs> Dressing in drag. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking back in the past and what they would think are women's clothes. Well, we know what women's clothes are. It means don't be walking around like a fruitcake, like you see out here. Now get that matching now, five. Why do you think, I mean, obviously because it's in the Bible that that's your moral code and that's what you follow. But on a more like societal level, why do you think that that would affect anyone? Because the Most High anger? Himself came down in a big ass chariot landed on Mount Sinai, okay, and gave the law to Moses. And he said, if you don't follow these laws, essentially I'm gonna fuck you up. That's pretty much what he said. I mean, so that's the short that effect, That affects you because everybody else is doing it and he's gonna fuck sure. shit up because well, he gonna you're fuck, a part he... of the society. But well, I just wanna read something. Do you believe the one they call Jesus Christ actually lived? I believe he lived. Yeah, I, I believe he was around. I'm not sure if I believe he was a prophet or a how, god or not. How did he leave the earth? What does the Bible say? When he died and came back to life, what did he do? He stuck around for a few days to make right. sure everything was all right. And <laughs> he, he got he received ended. into a cloud. Right. He got beamed up into a UFO and got up out of here. And he said he's coming back the same. He said he's coming back the same way. But read this. This is what he said. Matthew 5 and 17. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Now this is what the Lord, this is the Son of God himself. This is what he's telling us. Okay, this is very important. He didn't come here, he didn't come to this earth for, for no reason. Okay, keep going. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one little shell and no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And all is not fulfilled yet. Keep going. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Whoever shall break one of these least commandments. Keep going. And shall teach men so. And shall teach people say teaching it's okay to eat pork. It's okay to eat shrimp. It's okay to be a homosexual. Keep going. He shall be called the least in the kingdom. So if you teach people it's okay to break those laws, you'll be called the least in the kingdom. Keep going. But whosoever shall do and teach them. Whoever shall do and teach like we're doing. Keep going. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The same shall be called great. So that's the message the Lord gave to us. So that's why you're out here to teach. Here you go. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 14. And, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day. Like I said, the Lord commanded Israel himself. He that gave the, the Lord. It's not some shit that the scribes just made up. The Lord actually appeared unto Moses. He gave him the law. And then the Moses gave it to the Israelites. And the Most High, he, he talked directly to Israel. We gotta get that too in the end of Ten Commandments when he's. I might ask why you call him the Most High. Well, he's the highest of the highest. Is there, are you referring to Jesus or God? No, I'm talking about Yahweh, the Most High, the Father, the Father, Not the Son, the Father, the Heavenly okay. Father. Oh. So the Creator of all okay. that is. That makes sense. So what, do you call, do you say do you call him Jesus like the? Mm -hmm. Jesus is the son of God. Right. That's not his but name. That's not his name. Uh-uh. I can't remember yeah. what it is. Yahweh Shah. The Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The oh, Son is Yahweh Shah. Give me proof. That's Hebrew. Okay. Ancient okay. Hebrew. If we can prove that they only spoke Hebrew. Too. You know, let me finish reading this stuff. I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Like that, that goes into that assimilation you was talking about. The Lord ain't with no assimilation. He ain't, but, with, he ain't with that shit. Right. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. And, like, and every time you see that word Lord in the English Bible, every time you see Lord in all caps, when you look it up in Hebrew, it don't say Lord. It says the Most High's name. It says Yahweh. Okay. It says Yahweh in the Hebrew. In the Bible. Hebrew. In the Hebrew. It's Y H W H. Every time you see Lord in all caps, that's the, that's the that's that's uh, means Yahweh saves. 
to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey, that's why we're under curses right now. Because our forefathers didn't follow the commandments of the Most High. All right, so that we get messed up for our crimes of our forefathers. We are our forefathers. I got a scripture. Reincarnation. Reincarnation. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon the walls of Jerusalem. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're commanded to be the watchmen. We got to look out. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Day nor night. So we see evil coming. We just can't just be quiet and not tell anybody. Like, we know the government is behind this Ebola virus. And we're going to warn people and tell them. Keep going. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Not, we ain't going to stay silent. And which one was that again? Isaiah 62 and 6. There's a good precept for that one to go. Uh, what, what's that, Ezekiel 38? Which one? What's that, Ezekiel? I'm sorry, I was listening. Oh, go ahead and bring it out. Um, you talking about that's Acts, right? Acts 26. Acts 26, verse 14. When you all fell, we all fall into the earth. I heard a voice speaking unto me saying, and saying in the Hebrew tongue. In the Hebrew tongue. So I saw a wife persecute thy me. It is hard for thee to kick against the prince. Oh, that's just proving that they spoke Hebrew. Because you'll have a lot of people try to say that the Lord didn't speak Hebrew. Uh, they speak Ar 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 Arabic. What is Aramaic. 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 Yeah. He spoke well, any language. Actually, no, no. Yeah, I, I, he, he could, could have. His primary he language. Hebrew. Primary language is Hebrew. Right. I thought it was Hebrew, Hebrew was Greek. Hebrew spoken. Uh, the Aramaic right. was written. Well, Aramaic is actually a dialect of Hebrew. Right. So. It's the one that was written. It was, it was right, the Bible was originally written in Aramaic, Greek, and then... Actually, uh... The Lord was a Hebrew. Because Hebrew wasn't a regular language at that point. It's actually primary language. Yeah, it was a liturgical language. But when he was speaking to the Greeks and the, you know, of course he going to speak whatever. You, you know. had some of the early church fathers that said they, uh, they had seen a copy. It's been lost in history. They say the book of Matthew was originally written in the ancient Hebrew script, in ancient Hebrew. Because they, they always wrote the scriptures in Hebrew, not Aramaic. I mean, you got, like, uh, Daniel might have been written in Aramaic and maybe a, a, another book. But that's about it. It's all written in Hebrew. So if the whole Bible was written in Hebrew, you had to know Hebrew to read it, you know? So you ever heard of that, uh, the... The Maccabees, the Hasmonean Empire. No, actually. Uh, well, you can look up on the internet ancient coins out of Israel, date around what 300, uh, 200 BC, actually, somewhere around that time, and they got ancient Hebrew written on the coins. Okay. Uh, what was we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're all over the place. Yeah, we all over the place. <laughs> Well, they ask for good, well, it's because people come up and they got like billions of questions because right. we're singing a new song and you ain't never heard the song before. I've heard a little bit of it. <laughs> I've heard a little bit of it. Yeah, you just heard it. Dating a guy for two and a half years, I, he tried to keep it away a little bit just because it was just, but I, I was, he was not about teaching it. He was more, because well, he, he felt that I wouldn't thing. listen. Yeah, I would listen, I would listen on a more thing. scholarly level. I know he ain't got the truth. Because he didn't have the truth. Yeah. He he, well, it's you because know. he wouldn't, he wouldn't, teach it to me because I was I'm, I'm an agnostic essentially I know something's out there but I don't know what it is and he knew that yeah. I wouldn't grasp it the so same way the he would I would know. have you know it more on a scholarly there. level so he felt like that was more blasphemous than anything <laughs> so you, this guy. are you supposed to yeah he's probably I don't I don't want to you supposed to give the truth whether they hear or forbear you know I, my, I knew damn well my like my baby's mama won't going to get it Hold her ass anyway. Scripture so, says be apt to teach. That means be quick. Day and night. You know, be anxious, you know. Oh, you be apt to teach. Oh, I can't take hey, no questions today. Get that, get that today. Matthew 22. Uh, actually, there's a parable in the Bible that says if you take the truth and you what, you put it in a napkin and hide it, or they liken the truth oh, on the that's money. A bad parable. Yeah. That's a, uh, you know that parable. You know that parable? The Lord liking the Lord liking his truth on the money. So he pretty much said, I'm gonna give you this little bit of money. You gotta go out there and flip it. You know what I'm saying? Double your money, triple your money if possible. And he said there was one wicked servant who took that little bit of money the Lord gave him and he kept it and he, he dug it, what he said, he hid it. And he, he didn't go out there and try to double his money. So the Lord likened him unto a wicked servant. 
because he didn't try to flip it. Double his money. Uh, what you got? Hey, get Matthew 22 in a... Uh, oh, yeah. Down, uh, highways and byways. You got 22. That's some, there's nothing more important than teaching the truth. Okay, that comes before everything. It comes before your family. Okay, it comes before... I believe that honesty is the most valuable thing. The Lord says, you know, if any come unto me, that hate not his... Hey, let's get that. Luke 14. Luke 14. Yeah, he already got Matthew. Give me Luke 14 to 21. That's what I'm Oh, okay, go ahead. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. <laughs> this is Luke 14 and 21. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out unto the highways and hedges and right, compel right. them to come in. We got to compel people to come in. We got to bid people to the marriage. Because the Lord going to have a big party. We're going to have a big supper. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And what's the other part in Luke 14? Uh, where it says, anybody's left not in the I got it. I'm, okay. in, I'm, on, I'm on my way to you. Okay, okay. Okay. That my house may be filled, for I say unto you. That his house may be filled. And this, this is the house of the Most High, right? This is, a. Uh, you know, the Bible says, the temple of the Most High is not made with human hands. I would think so. This is the temple right here. And the scriptures also say, Whenever two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. The, right, the Lord is with the Spirit of the Lord is with us right now. I've always believed that. There are people who go to church every single day and call themselves holy. And it, it doesn't make any sense. They, they go out and they just torture people with words, with violence and whatnot. But they go to church, so it's something special. And most of those temples are uh, modeled after the ancient pagan temples. They got the, the giant church steeple on it, which is a phallic symbol. They got pretty much a giant dick. On, a church steeple is essentially a giant penis. Okay. I wouldn't doubt it. I That's, mean, even the Greeks used to they used to value phallic symbols and actually put them on their doors to keep away evil spirits. You familiar with Pompeii? Yeah. The city of Pompeii. They got yeah. destroyed. Yeah, that got destroyed. Everything. Everywhere you turn your head, there's a dick, <laughs> a, a dick or, a, or, or a goat having sex with a woman. Well, that's what uh, that's what the Washington Monument is. <laughs> Now Washington D.C. It's six six hundred and sixty-six feet tall. Yeah, it's actually Osiris's penis. That goes back to the You're talking about that obelisk. The obelisk, yeah, 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 the obelisk. Oh, yeah, yeah, Washington D.C. Uh, got a lot of. I got a picture. The whole city. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole city. The whole city. You connect the whole layout. Because it makes a document. Uh, uh, the whole layout. The whole layout. The whole layout. Or something to make an owl. You know, it's you know, it actually a black man that designed the layout to the streets. Benjamin Banneker. Benjamin, Benjamin Banneker. He was a master astrologer. Mm -hmm. Benjamin Banneker. Oh, hell. Let me get this picture real quick. Remember when we were talking about the pyramids? Yeah. That's Israel. We were master architects. Masters. Now, you know what I'm she asked us about astrology. Oh, let me uh, get that scripture. The book of Genesis 1014 says, Use the stars and the lights in the heavens for signs yeah, and for it. seasons. Let me so get it. But, but you're not supposed what, to get what you got, follow astrology? Uh, Jeremiah 2 2. You ain't. I mean. The, the, the sign, no, no, no. There's signs in the heavens. Cancer and Gemini. Let me just nah, get the scripture. You ain't supposed to, be, supposed to be. Well, you're right, uh, though. The you're right. 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 you are Modern it, astrology, uh, tropical astrology, Western, is actually not based on the stars at all. That's actually sidereal astrology. Tropical astrology has everything to do with certain sections of the sky that planets and the sun and moon fall get this under. Richard. So you probably know more about this astrology. Is, uh, <laughs> yeah, is, uh, I, I, don't, I don't study astrology. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord. 
learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Yeah, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Oh yeah, like uh, an eclipse, people get bugged out. Uh, the nation of Islam worship the, uh, the crescent moon and stars. Worshiping, uh, sacrificing yeah, children on the equinox. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because you got like, the, the like you said, just mentioned the eclipse. Yeah. Some people actually draw. <gasps> But uh, the, Ma the Mayan priests used to control the people, and they would tell you, if we don't sacrifice your children, I'm not gonna let the sun come back. Oh shit! You got a whole web build right there. Because <laughs> yeah, you know there's a lot of devil worshippers. That's a living. That's a living organism. So there's a demon. That's, that could be a demon in there. Oh yeah. You know. I mean, Ebola. If bite your ass. You gonna what? You gonna say? Well, I, I Ebola's you saying organism. that you can that's be. You can be. You can't be a, you can't be a detective and uh, be a. Uh, no. If you gonna you be in the but, truth. But how? But see. But how is that possible? How, well, how, see, how you, you can? To be so a I can't be a lawyer. First of all, you got to be a lawyer and still. You take an oath. You take an oath to the system. Nah, you can't be no lawyer. Again. Well, you know you're not gonna bring this up. I got to So if I went to McDonald's, it's all cool. You all good. <laughs> you can be a freelance detective like Sherlock. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, you can do that. Maybe. <laughs> kind of hard to be. So yeah, you can't do no top-notch. I got a screen camera. Sherlock was with so it. He was, he was a, uh, it's Sherlock <laughs> actually worked for the system. You can't be none of that. That's how that shit was. Sherlock wasn't a real person. I mean, you know, Sherlock is based on a real character. That's based on a real character. But you got it, but like I read that scripture. No, it's completely fictional. You got to be told day and night. The character Sherlock is... You know what I'm saying? Made up, just like, yeah. just like um, just like Harry Potter, just like every other. Oh, I'm thinking of something. Else. Harry Potter is based on real life. That's based on real they life use, too. They using a, <laughs> it is. But well, they using Harry Potter. To, See, we bugging you out. They, they using Harry <laughs> Potter to brainwash the children and get the children uh, interested in the wizardry and sorcery and magic. It, children grow out of that stuff. Um, they, they always do. Of? Yeah, right. They well, grow, they they grow to be and pagans and magicians. Some grown ass people that be doing. I'm not a pagan or a yeah. magician. Yeah, Halloween. Man, I'd be Halloween coming up here soon. We're gonna have some grown <laughs> ass people I have, with some um, Harry um, Potter shit. I'm, I'm still trying to think of the, the name. Damn. Hey, let me read this. I got a scripture for him real quick. Now, this gonna prove that you can't be a cop, no lawyer. Can't work for you. Can't work for you. Hell no. Hell no. Can't be a correctional officer. Hell no. <laughs> no, think of like this. Okay, hey, you're oppressing your own people, but listen. That's like Moses joining the Egyptian army or something. Yeah, but listen to this. And, and this proves that Nathaniel, you know that Nathaniel yeah. said, you know Nathaniel and the IUIC, they're all cops and detectives. This scripture uh, exposes them. Listen to this. First Corinthians 6 and 1. Dare any of you having a matter against another Go to law before the unjust and not before the saints. See? You know, be the un go to law before the unjust, meaning call the cops. That The unjust is the cops, the uh, this world. We're supposed to separate ourselves from this world. So you're not supposed to. The law of the unjust. The, well, let me read it again. So that's, just, so that's the government the period. Then. Yeah. Because, okay. unjust, right. because of unjust law, you know. Oh, you ain't supposed to be running for city council. Uh, Senate, no, none of that shit. Here we go. Uh, Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Yeah, who cast you into prison? A motherfucking cop. And the police. So you can't be a You're pretty much saying, I want to be the devil. And you suffer. <laughs> what? When you go to police academy, how do you go to devil academy? Satan academy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just read it. Is it because of the police brutality? Yeah. Yeah. So is that, I'm asking, is it because of the police brutality? And all? Oh, no, it's because, no, read it again. it's because they're not following the laws of the Most High. They got they found the, the statutes and the... Uh, so you can't America. be a security guard? Oh, uh, security guard, that's a uh, homeland security. So are you a security guard in a mall? Oh yeah, the yeah. security guards got the badge too, right? What about homeland security? That's just a job. What about homeland security? Yeah. 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 Yeah, fuck all that shit, man. Go, go be a carpenter or an electrician or something. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord was a I was carpenter. always into the criminal justice area. Man, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just, that's, that's pressing that's kind of, your own. That's kind, of, that's kind of fucked up though. That's like, oppressing your own people. Tell somebody you, you, you ain't gonna do, you ain't gonna do this. 
Just yeah. Don't be, like, <laughs> that ain't yeah. happened for years. Yeah. 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 Do you like, know, hold up, do you know they like got... Saying, that's like saying, like... You know a lot of these... Like having, that's like having, that's like crushing the kids' dreams. Now, you know these Freemasons, the Freemasons got their own lodges just for the law enforcement. So the, the, uh, the police, uh, the police and the different sheriffs and law enforcement is actually a form of Freemasonry. Because all their symbolism is a Freemasonic symbolism. Like you see a lot of cops will wear a seven point star. 